Okay, so I just want to say one thing. I'm so sorry about the pixelated quality in this video. I was having some troubles exporting with Rush, so I just had to screen record my project, and well, that's why the quality is pixelated, but the show must go on, right? So let's get started with the video. Well, hello there, and welcome back to another video. And yesterday, Apple released the iOS 13.7 Gold Master release to developers and public beta testers. And for you guys on the general public release, it'll be coming out in about a week for you guys. So, if you want to install iOS 13.7 Gold Master right now, I'm going to show you how to get it up and running on your device right away. So let's start. So I said in my iOS 14 beta video that I recommend installing the developer beta profile. Well, for this, it's just much easier to download the public beta profile. So let's go over there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Safari. We are going to go to beta.apple.com. Um, you're going to scroll down. For me, it says get started, but for you, it should say something like a big, blue, a big blue button saying sign up or already a member, sign in. So if you've already downloaded a public beta from this website, you're going to press sign in. And if you haven't, you're going to press sign up. For me, it's just get started. So, okay, I come to this page. You are going to sign in with your Apple ID. You're going to scroll down. Here it shows the iOS 14 promo image. Um, you're going to press enroll your iOS device. Archive a backup. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. And then number two, it says install profile. So over here, the big blue button for download profile is supposed to be the iOS 14 beta profile, but under that it says not ready for iOS 14 and roll in the public beta for iOS 13 updates by downloading the iOS 13 configuration profile here. So here is highlighted in blue, so let's go click. This website is trying to download a configuration profile. Do you want to allow this? I do. Profile downloaded. Review the profile and settings app. Eng English Apple. English. Review the profile in settings app. Yes. English. If you want to install it. So I'm going to press close. I'm going to go to settings. It says over here profile downloaded. Here's the iOS 13 and iPadOS 13 beta software profile, beta software profile. Yes, it's actually called that. I'm going to press install, enter my passcode, install, install, and there. It'll either ask you to restart or it'll say nothing. You're going to press done, go back into software update, and there it is. iOS 13.7 ready for us to install. So I'm going to click download and install, enter in my passcode, and it is going to start the update. So that is how to install it. And we're going to just wait for this to download. And we're going to install it and see what's new. OK, the update is finished downloading. So let's go ahead and click that Install Now button. Three, two, one. And it's installing. You see the Apple logo over there. You see the progress bar. Let's wait. Come on, come on, I don't have all day. Please, thin it, oh, 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 okay, you're, you're done now. You're done now, okay, let, let's unlock the phone. No, no, no special greeting, your iPhone has been updated to iOS 13.7. Ah, oh, fine, I, I don't care anyways. Okay, so our phone has restarted, so let's go into settings, general, about, and you see software version is 13.7. You just click on that. And the build number is 17H33, which indicates that it is a GM release. So the final step that you have to do is you have to go back, scroll down to profile. You see the profile that you use to get this update? Remove it. Just completely remove it. Make sure you get to this screen. No profiles are currently installed. 
go back, and the tab is no longer there. So there you have it, iOS 13.7 is installed on your iPhone. So what's new in iOS 13.7? Well, really nothing except for one thing, the ability to let you opt in for COVID-19 exposure notifications. Yeah, not like we've seen that before. But anyways, you now have the ability to opt in for exposure notifications right inside of iOS 13.7, so there's no need to update to the beta of iOS 14 to get this feature. So you scroll down, you get this brand new tab called exposure notifications, you click on it, and you get to this page. You have turn on exposure notifications, how exposure notifications work, and availability alerts. So I'll just walk you through the setup. You press turn on exposure notifications and you get to this nice looking page. Your iPhone can tell you if you may have been exposed to COVID-19. You get how exposure notifications work. Just press continue. Select your country or region. Okay, so um, just wait a second. Yeah, I'm going to scroll down to United States. Right, select your state or region. Um, so Virginia is one of the states that um, allows contact tracing, so let's click on it. Your region has an exposure notification app. To turn on, to turn on, to turn on exposure notifications for COVID-wise, you can download their app from the App Store. Now, for states that don't have contact tracing, um, let's say this one, exposure notifications are not currently available. Exposure notifications have not been turned on for your region by your public health authority. So let's go back to Virginia. Let's open up the app store and you get to this story. So it shows all of the states that have contact tracing and what their apps are. So you have GuideSafe in Alabama, COVID Trace Nevada in Nevada, Care 19 alert in North, in North Dakota and Wyoming, and COVID Wise in Virginia. So that is a little walkthrough of iOS 13.7. So thanks for watching. Stay safe, wash your hands, take a shower, do whatever you need to do. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.